Okay, so here's how I'm playing all this madness that's going on in 500 miles. So I'm starting the melody. Um, let me show you what's going on there. I'm playing the, the, the B string open, and then I'm playing the G string at the sixth fret. I'm playing the C sharp, and then the first string open, and then I'm playing the second string on the seventh fret. Okay, so it's kind of odd to, to have a, a, a higher note on a lower string but sometimes it's necessary to get what you're looking for. So that's what's happening with this. And notice that I, I play this B note right after I play the melody. It, uh, it's kind of a pop thing to do, um, to, to pop up to the fifth when you got that melody on third. And I do a quick slide down to the, to the F sharp. And then I play the, the major seven chord. Of course, if you play the whole major seven, it's here, but I'm not playing the fifth string, so. And then I play the B minor seven. And now notice what I'm doing there. I'm playing the B minor seven, and then I go to the third, second and third strings. Oops. Okay. And then I do the hammer on. Do this again. That's where the E9 comes in. And this is a little tough. But what I'm playing is, you know, both second and third string with my pinky. And then there's that hammer on again. And notice when I do this, I roll through the chord. It's just a little, a little thing that can make a big difference, you know, instead of being a, a, a real stiff kind of player. You know, that's, that allows you to, to put a little more emotion into the arrangement. And then I come out of the, the A over B into the E. Okay. All right, so let's play this tune one more time through nice and slowly so you can uh, get one last look at it. 